Good day everyone, I am Danica Jampenalosa and our lesson for today is what is research? These are the topics we're going to tackle about. The first one is what is research? We're going to fully understand the meaning of research in different insights. The second topic is reasons why we do research. We're going to see the differences between the expectation and the reality. Number three is the research end game, wherein these are the common goals in research. Number four is the three types of research. We're going to find out what is their meaning and their differences between the three. And lastly, the research area of Cavite State University. Let's start our lesson for today by finding out what is research. According to Mariah Webster Dictionary, Research as a noun means careful or diligent search, studious inquiry or examination, especially an investigation or experimentation in a discovery and interpretation of facts, revision of accepted theories or laws in the light of new facts, or practical application of such new or revised theories or laws, and lastly, the collecting of information about a particular subject. In etymology, research is derived from the Middle French, recherche means to go about search seeking. The term itself being derived from the Old French term recherchier, or compound word from re plus sensier means search. In simple term, the process of collecting and analyzing information or data to increase our understanding of new concepts or theory in accordance with suitable systematic and scientific ways. Here are the reasons why we do research the expectation. Number one is to build our knowledge. As you can see, we already have the existing knowledge. We're just going to gather information and data in order for us to refresh our knowledge. Number two is to understand phenomena or various concepts and theory. Uh, for example, we have um, questions that we're not familiar with. A phenomena, a theory, a concept, an idea that we're not familiar with. We're going to research about that thing to understand. To understand how we apply this thing in a various situation. How we apply these things to something relatable like that. So, number three is to provide solution to various problems. Uh, we do research in order for us to reach a certain conclusion. As you can see, uh, research is a systematic and scientific. Uh, you uh, research use systematic and scientific methodologies in order to uh, reach the objective, the goal, and the conclusion to certain problem and certain theory. Number. Four is to seek the truth. Uh, we do research in order for us to know where to stand. Is it uh, are you favored to something or you're not favored to something? For example, uh, the Big Bang theory. Do you believe in the Big Bang theory or not? We seek answer to that. That's why we're going to research about it. And lastly, is to nourish our mind. Uh, we do research uh, in order to fulfill our mind in our intellectual capacity to to increase our intellectual capacity to build more information to know more to th in order for us to think outside the box uh, so here are the reasons why we do research in reality the reason the truth behind researching the main reason number one it is your job it is your job as a research analyst it is your job as a student you do research because it is your job as a student to pass the research subject it is your job as a student to publish a research paper that is the main reasons why we do research number two for personal gain or interest like to get promotion for example in teaching in teaching there are ranking system uh, in order for you to get it the position you want uh, you need to get promoted 
by doing research paper because research paper has a value. It has a value in uh, pointing system, in ranking, in ranking, in ranking position. Uh, next to that is to achieve dream or ambition. To achieve dream or ambition, you do research because you want your product to be known worldwide or something like that. It is your ambition. It is your very, uh, it is your very goal in life, like that. And lastly, to get fund or money, uh, you do research in order to sell your research. <laughs> you do research for other people or something like that. Uh, for the money, for the sake of for the sake of money, because research paper has a value. It has the highest value in college. <laughs> Next is the research and game. These are the common goals in research. We do research because we have a common goal. Number one to this is the basic requirement: presentation. Uh, presentation. You want to present to something bigger, like internationally, worldwide. Like that, your common goal, well, we have a goal of presenting to many people. Number two is reports. You want your data, your uh, collective information, your solution, your uh, results to certain problem to be used by other researchers for future purposes. You want your ideas and comprehensive results to be published to be known to public and to add to the knowledge of the people. Publication, accept the research need to be published. In publication, uh, you want to be you want your paper paper to be published because first of all, your name is written on it. You want your name, you want your name to be known uh, publicly. That's why you publish paper. It is our common goal to have a published research paper. Patents. Patents, you want your public, since you have published your, uh, your journal or research paper, you want to have a patent because uh, if you have a patent, you have security in your intellectual property. You have, uh, you have the right to sue someone who use your to use your research paper without your consent like that we have the common goal of having a patent uh, next to that is the product commercialization commercialization here you can showcase your research and make name in the market uh, the common goal is we do, uh, we do research because for personal gain and interest for showcasing your research to make name in the public market to make name in the common economy or something like that you want your product to be known worldwide like that and lastly is to travel to other places be a known researcher common goal be a known researcher to travel to different places just to gather information or something like that so here are the research and game the common goals in research now let's move on to our topic which is three types of research so here are the three types of research and let's find out what's the differences between the three the first one is the basic research it is the planned systematic pursuit of new knowledge and understanding towards a general application uh, the answer question to this is why is it important uh, for example you want to know the importance of research in the lives of the Filipinos. <laughs> like that, that is the basic research. Uh, it is used by um, teachers, psychologists, or something like that. So the second type of research is the action research. It is the acquisition of knowledge or understanding to meet a specific recognized need. Uh, it answers the questions how can I use this? Action research is used by agriculturists or something related to that that needs uh, action for a solution for a for their problem. For example, can I um, the study about 
coconut oil as a pesticide like that it is a, it is an action research uh, it is the acquisition of knowledge and understanding to meet a specific criteria or need the third type of research is the developmental research developmental research is the application of knowledge and understanding towards the production or improvement of a product service process or method developmental research are used by researchers that need to develop something or to improve something they use their existing knowledge and understanding and apply it to improve certain products to improve services to improve methodologies uh, this research is used for developing and innovating uh, for the differences the differences between the three is that the basic knowledge basic research answers the question why is it important while the active research answers the questions how can i use this and the developmental research it use it uses both because developmental research explains why it is important to develop a product and they use a systematic methodologies to explain how we use the product how this improvement how this uh, improvement will benefit and how this improvement, the de this development will, uh, will make a change to the current situation. That is all. And the last topic is all about the council thematic area that emphasizes different aspects of research. There are thematic area for agri-fisheries and food security, biodiversity and environmental conservation, Smart Engineering, ICT, and Industrial Competitiveness, Public Health and Welfare, and Societal Development and Equality. That is the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Again, I am Danica Jampanyala, a researcher student of Dr. Edwin R. Arboleda. Hope you learned from our lesson for today. Good luck for your future research. Please like, follow, and subscribe.